on the Trans Canada going west if you can see here so beautiful and it's awesome to be on the Trans Canada road so cool Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries and just the road as a home. Where is this leading us? We're going from Lake Superior all the way to Calgary to the beginning of the Rockies. This week, we start the journey through the Trans-Canada Highway. We are literally going to cross half of Canada in just a few days, through the legendary prairies all the way to the Rocky Mountains after Calgary. Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta, jump on board! In today's episode, we cross Canada! almost full time on the road um, but we found a pretty cool bivouac spot along the Trans-Canadian Highway and a lake so fishing for Nick, running for me I think there's the perfect set for both of us to enjoy this evening after so much road Ta -da! funny part of traveling every day is that I get to do my run every day in a different place we're packed over there and Nick is fishing so we're going to check what he got I went fishing in the lake over there and I ca caught this nice trout so now we're making uh, some pasta and onions and then we're going to cook the trout as well so that we can keep it for two more lunch. <laughs> if it was not for that, it's still the most beautiful sunset out there. Price here? $177. $177. Getting better. Getting 
better. We like it. Stretch your legs. <laughs> Do you know why I do that? Because there's a lot of mosquitoes smashed on the windshield and I cannot film through the windshield with all those mosquitoes dead. I literally just cleaned the windshield. Just now. Mine? on the Trans-Canadian Highway on our way to Calgary. We are now in Manitoba. We entered the province just earlier and we met again with some friends, uh, Katrin and Matthias. We had met them on another camping site just a few weeks ago. You probably don't remember them because we didn't mention them at the time, but I'll show you the image just now so that you can figure out how helpful they were at the time. So we met with them for a barbecue night. We parked the car on this nice parking. It's going to be a beautiful evening. And for the first time, no mosquitoes and good cell network. Something we didn't have since we arrived in Canada. The combination of both, never. If I lose my hand, it's on camera. Yeah, <laughs> I will put it online if you lose your hand though. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. We're going to do pancakes for uh, German friends this morning because pancakes is good. And, and for us. Yeah, and for us. Yeah, in Mexico, I think she will come. For sure, she will come. Oh. My brother. The good action of the day. Mateo is cleaning. And Catherine as well, the two neighbors cleaning the cars. Oh, he's just chilling and drinking. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. It was a really fun night. Goodbye. little break in the Saskatchewan fields it's beautiful listen to the sound also very wild okay it's a bit monotonous but it's a uh, different nature and we've had so much forest that fields actually feel good and they have beautiful flowers around here
at least you have only one way. Faster than the speed of light. We stretch time. Snare drum pass. Wicked sins. Look at all those square shaped roads. It's insane. A perfect grill. Alberta! Alberta! Our nice. final destination for Ooh. this leg of the trip. Very long straight lines. And it never ever turns. Stretch oh. the legs. Stretch the legs. Uh. <sighs> on a more practical thing, we've set up an office on the passenger seats using the pillow of our fridge. So I have the computer where we edit the videos. I can put my phone here, get my charger, charger for the phone. Optimal. Fuel price in Alberta. Because low taxes. This is cool. But we need to find the diesel price. It's always a bit more expensive. Ah, diesel on the left. Let's see, let's see. Do you see the price? Ah, yeah, 158. That's not great. That's not bad. Shit. So, it was our third or fourth day on the road, direction Alberta. We crossed the border of Alberta this week, and uh, now we're sleeping right next to Calgary. Tomorrow, we'll go to Calgary to see some friends of Nick and, uh, yeah, and visit around, and hopefully. What is it? Friday, then we move. And look at the sunset. We got a very nice email from Jesse. Uh, Jesse lives in Calgary. He, and, uh, he wrote to us about two weeks ago saying, hey guys, I saw that you are coming towards Calgary. I have a store with technical clothing that you can wear for the Rockies and the rest of your trip. And we'd love to offer you some clothing. Obviously, we don't really need clothing because we came everything prepared and we're not looking for sponsors or brands, but it came in a good moment where actually my short got ripped last week and uh, I'd like to get it changed because it just looks a bit ridiculous. We are only taking things that we actually need and we're not, you know, taking things just for the fun of it. So let's go check out his store. The Doer store, summer of soft. The world's most comfortable pants. Let's find out. Mm. <laughs> Better. Yeah, much better. I love it. It's super flexible. It's very nice, the color. It's Jesse, who invited us here, is also giving us like tons of advice on like where to refuel, where to go in the Rockies. So it's super nice of him. Thank you so much, Jesse. Jesse, who we met by email, and now we're meeting in person. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, so I help run the uh, Stewart store here in Calgary. Uh, reached out to Nick and Matilde uh, for their adventure to get them some some clothes, some pants, and some t-shirts to hook them up for their adventure. Um, Doer as a brand, we focus on uh, creating clothes that you can wear for your adventures in your everyday life, and we thought it would be a perfect fit. Thank you very much. No and so you're Jesse, you are? I'm Corey. And we got tips to go hiking on a two-day hike on the Super mountains. Fast. You're going to love it. Exactly. Love it. So yeah. we're going to test it out and send you a picture. Perfect. Hey, I'm Zach. Yeah, I manage the store here and just super pumped that Jesse was able to reach out to you guys. And you oh, are? Hey, uh, I'm Scott. I'm the team lead here in Calgary. Uh, yeah, super stoked for you guys. I wish you the best of luck and hopefully we can see each other again. All right, super. Thanks a lot. We're going to see my, uh, my friends Eric and Jordan.
manage a motorbike club and um, we went on a trip together in Peru for two weeks on a motorbike. It was a lot of fun. And since Eric lives right next to Calgary, I told him that on my way, let's speed up. And luckily, Jordan, which is the co founder of this club, lives in Vancouver Island, but he's gonna be here tonight as well. So the chances are just perfect. Jordan, the other guy owning the moto club and he quit his job to go on a trip with his four kids in this massive school bus that they built themselves. It's <laughs> insane. Our defender next to it looks like a little joke. It's much bigger than what I expected. Hey Jordan! That's Jordan and his four kids are up here with his wife. Alright, let's go. Very express tour. Driver's seat, kids, hammock, uh, baby chairs, kitchen. They do have an oven and a dishwasher, a uh, massive fridge. They have all the food in here. They have a washing machine in here. And obviously four beds for the kids. One, two, three, four. Here's a king size bed for them. Toilet, shower, and then footstep down to nature. And every day it's a different day. Small is it? <laughs> <laughs> we are just at the entry of the Rockies. Uh, yesterday was a busy day. We entered Calgary. We did some laundry machine. We what did we do? We went to Doer. Uh, we went to upload the video. We went to Nicholas' friends, uh, Eric. And yeah, so many things happened that we didn't film like thoroughly, but we are here. The Rockies are just back there. Today is exciting. We're starting the Rockies. I think we'll start with the Kananaskis uh, Park because it's the weekend. So it's going to be very, very packed everywhere. So we think maybe Kananaskis might be a bit quieter than the, the like Banff that is the following park, but I think we're a bit naive, but we start with that. Steep. That was intense. We left late. We knew we left late. But we thought, okay, maybe it's going to be fine. But it was harder than expected. But we happy. Little break. Olives, pickles. And carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Yava. Yava. Where's your hand on there's nothing to eat, but what is this? What is this? It's really not obvious, but it's actually extremely steep. So we're going down really slowly and carefully because you don't want to slide down there. It's crazy to think that this is the way because you can see uh, you can see the little signs over here, but crazy to think that 
people are hiking here and there isn't any chains or anything holding us. Wow. Anyways, apart from that, it is impressive out here. Whoa. You can actually see it better here, the steepness we're coming from up here. And, uh, <laughs> and it keeps going so steep, but that's a bit better. There's a bit more to hold on, but that's crazy. How was the hike? Tiring. That was a sick hike. Honestly, I think the Rockies are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we found this spot here, and these guys over there are jumping off the bridge into the water. We're gonna set ourselves up here with this beautiful river. And Woo! What a journey! To and that was only the appetizer of what's coming next in the Rockies. So if you want to follow the journey, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss what's coming up. We're going to the heart of the Canadian Rockies next week and it's going to be amazing. See you next week!